holy ones. As for the as for the matters, brothers and sisters, we instructed you how to live in order to please God, as in fact you are living. Now we ask you to to add. Now we now we ask you and urge you in the Lord Jesus to do this more and more, for you know what instructions we gave you by the authority of the Lord Jesus. It is God's will that you should be sanctified, that you should avoid sexual immorality that each of you should learn to control your own body in a way that is holy and unhonorable, not in passionate lusts like the pagans who do not know God, and that this matter no one should wrong or take advantage of a brother or a sister. The Lord will punish all those, all those who commit such sins, as we told you and warned you before. For God did not call us to be impure, but to live a holy life. Therefore, Anyone who rejects this instruction does not reject a human being but God, the very God, the very God who gives us his Holy Spirit. Now about your love for me, now about your love for one another, and do not need do not need it right to you, for you yourself have been taught by God to love each other. In, in and in fact, you do love all God's family throughout Macedonia. Yet we urge you, brothers and sisters, do not do, to do so more and more, and to make it your ambition to lead a quiet, a quiet life. You should mind your own business and work with your own hands, just as we told you, so that your daily life may win the respect of outsiders, and so that you will not be dependent on anybody. Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death, so that you, you do not grieve like the rest of the mankind who are of no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again, and we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the, to the Lord's word, we will tell you that we, we who are still alive, we are left until the coming of the Lord. We will certainly not perceive those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise fast. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. Now, brothers and sisters, about times and dates, we do not need to write to you. For you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night, while people are saying, peace and safety, destruction will come on them suddenly, as a labor pains on a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in the darkness so that this day should surprise you like a thief. You are only children of the light and children of the day. We do not belong to the night or to the darkness. So then, let us not be like others who are asleep, but let us be awake and sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk, get drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober, putting on faith and love as a breastplate and the hope of salvation as a helmet. For God did not appoint us to be to suffer, but, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with him. Therefore, we encourage one another to build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. Now we, sp we ask you, brothers and sisters, to acknowledge those who work hard among you, who care for you in the Lord and who admonish you. Hold them in the highest regard and love because of their work. Live in peace with each other. And we urge you, brothers and sisters, one those who are idle and disruptive, encourage the, the disheartened, help the weak, be patient with everyone. Make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong, but always strive to do what is good for each other and for everyone else. Rejoice always, pray continually. 
Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. Do not treat prophecies with contempt, but test them all. Hold on what is good. Reject every kind of evil. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May you, may your whole spirit, soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, the one who calls you in faith in faithful, and he will do it. And will and will do it. Brothers and sisters, may pray for us, greet all God's people with the Holy Kiss. I charge you before Lord to have this letter read to all brothers and sisters.